Okay, this is just a quick update. Uh, I've taken a look inside this. There are no wires. These are terminated onto a circuit board. So there's no color coding that I can use to determine which wires are which. The problem when looking at cables is when they're numbered, you need to know which end that you're looking at because pin one on here is a mirror image of pin one on here so the diagram that I have there are no pin numbers so I don't know if red is there or if it's actually where the white wire is it all depends on which end of the cable you're looking at so if you have a red wire here and a black wire here well it would be just the opposite on this end for them to connect because if this was red and this one was also red when you put them together you would be crossing a polarity so it's really important to know the pin number on these unfortunately on their website they don't actually tell you what the pin numbers are they are labeled on the connector so I could use that if I had a corresponding diagram that showed me um, the pinouts but all it really gives me is the rotation and color code so I don't know if it goes around clockwise or counterclockwise anyway my solution to this is I'm going to have to cut the connectors off of uh, the turn signal cameras anyway so no loss with those I'll I'll cut those with no problem um, so I'm gonna take one of those cut it off plug it in here and just have a pigtail and then I can use that to determine what color or which pins are the yellow and the black and once I know that then I can go ahead and add B and C connectors and tie them straight into the the backs of these connectors um, I have ordered some BNC connectors. Um, you can get a whole bag of them for like $9 on Amazon. Uh, I think there's 20. It's way more than I need for this project, but for 9 bucks, it's kind of hard to beat. So those will be in um, next week. So in the meantime, I just want to uh, proceed on and figure out how this thing is wired. So I'll go ahead and do that. That's the monitor hooked back up. It's a power cable. So let me turn on the key. Turn on the monitor. It says no signal, which I would expect it to. Um, Pin three, let's see what that one was. That's apparently the backup camera. Let's do the uh, left turn signal. Again, it says no signal. That's good. Now I just have to find a connector. So this must be the right one. But I still have no signal. found a fuse in there. That's a little concerning. What does that go to? Uh, if 
5 amp fuse is what this is. It looks like this goes to the uh, audio amplifier, which I assume is the uh, goes to the AV system. And it still says no signal on the left. Okay, so that's my left turn signal. So the wiring on this for my purposes, left camera, right camera, backup camera. And this one actually says backup on number three. So I'm going to disconnect the left camera it doesn't have power going to it. Uh, it gets power from the converter box itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, gonna move my tape so I can find this cable again later. some of the insulation to see what we've got. Hold that thought. Okay, so there's... It's only using four, which I would expect because um, there's no audio circuit on these. So, going by their wiring diagram, that should be the 12 volts going to the camera, the red and the black. The yellow should be the video, and I should be able to get a video signal from the yellow and the black. That should be 1 volt peak to peak. And usually, uh, this is a shield that they put around the video, and it's usually grounded. and that helps with uh, RF interference uh, being generated on the signal wire. Um, so shouldn't have to connect to it. But now I can ring it out from the wire to the pin so I can figure out which is which. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put this thing on the bench and take it apart and start uh, mocking up the new setup and if it looks like it's going to work then I'll go ahead and drill the case and add the BNC connectors and we'll go from there stay tuned for part three